So we began blood flow restriction in the military for a multitude of problems that we were seeing. For one was what we called the limb salvage patient who had really mangled limbs but didn't go to amputation. They really needed a strength and hypertrophy response but couldn't tolerate loads. The other group was folks who had lost pieces of muscle from the blast injuries. That's a very disabling condition. We can't regrow lost muscle tissue, but we worked on a lot of pathways with our regenerative medicine scientists of ways that we could use blood flow restriction to, to help restore some function after that lost muscle. And then the orthopedic sports medicine injury, your ACLs, arthritis, cartilage injuries were also a key component because we could start the strength and hypertrophy training very quickly after injury or surgery. We use personalized blood flow restriction training as a means to correct something that we've always had a problem with in rehab. Your body has a couple of different muscle fibers that it preferentially uses. The slow twitch, which use oxygen, the fast twitch, which don't use oxygen. So for most things in daily life, for light tasks like you might do actually when you go to rehabilitation after injury, your body's gonna prefer to use those slow twitch fibers because there's really no reward it has to give you. It's not gonna give you extra muscle size, typically not gonna give you extra muscle strength. And that's a problem because most people after injury or surgery are losing muscle size and strength from that disuse and pain that they're in. When you're forced to use those fast twitch fibers, you typically will get a reward from your body and that can be increase in muscle size and increase in muscle strength and that's what most people have to go after when they go to the gym and lift heavier weights or do high intensity exercises. Through blood flow restriction, we reduce blood flow to a set percentage for each individual to allow them to be able to use those fast twitch fibers even at a low weight that you might use after injury or surgery to get the same kind of benefits that you would if you were to go to the gym and lift those heavy weights or high intensity exercises. So blood flow restriction is the application of a tourniquet on the upper limb of either the arm or the leg. And what we do is we get it there and we find what your personalized pressure is through Doppler-like technology and the systems that we use that will find how to restrict the full amount of blood flow going into your limb and then we can dial it back to a percentage of that blood flow that we want to reduce while you're rehabbing. So once we get it on you, we know what your restriction pressure is and what percentage we're going to use for what your condition is. We have a specific number of sets and reps and rest periods where the tourniquet stays inflated the entire time. And then once you've hit those target sets and reps, we deflate the tourniquet. It's a great feeling because it's really hard work whenever you do this, but you did it at a low, safe weight. And after that, you have a brief rest period. And then if you're going after another targeted muscle group, we reinflate and go again. If you'd like to learn more about personalized blood flow restriction, visit owensrecoveryscience.com.